So, you want to level up your videos? I get it. I mean, those ugly green screen animations. Yeah. Yuck. Time to make your very own unique animations to boost your socials today. First, we're making a fun ring notification. Then, we're using sub magic to make cool animated captions, followed by creating this awesome follow button from scratch. Let's open up Premiere. First, we're gonna create this circle animation. It's actually easier than you think. Head over to the toolbar and grab the ellipse tool. If you don't see it, click and hold the rectangle tool to open this menu. Then select the ellipse tool. Now in the program monitor, click and hold shift. Then drag to create a circle. Hit V on your keyboard to grab the selection tool and drag your circle to the middle of the frame. You can hold control, that will snap it to the center. A beautiful circle, isn't it? Next, head over to the properties panel. And here, make sure to disable the fill and enable the stroke. Make sure it's white and make it around 16 pixels thin. Next, go to the effect controls. In here, we're gonna create the reveal animation. To do that, click the pen tool to create a mask and in the program monitor, create a small box around a tiny part of your circle. Then add a mask path keyframe. Now move forward in time with your scroll wheel and adjust the mask piece by piece until it's completely revealed. That's how it will look when you're done animating the mask. Okay, let's create the bell animation. I found this icon on flat icon, a free platform for icons. Then in Premiere, drag the bell on top of your circle. You can then scale and position it in your circle perfectly. Next, move the player to the moment the circle is complete. And then trim away everything in front. Now find the transform effect and drag it on the bell icon. Now in the effect controls, grab the anchor point and drag it until the top of the bell matches with the position marker. Then grab the position marker and align it with the anchor point. That way when you animate rotation property, it will look like it's hanging from top. I created this simple swing animation like like this. You can copy it if you like. Next, set a scale keyframe. Then move to the beginning of the clip and set a scale to zero. Now expand the velocity curves and pull the lever of the last keyframe to ease the animation in. Of course, don't forget to increase the shutter angle to introduce motion blur. Next, select the graphic layers and right click them. Then choose nest and call it animation or something. Click OK and go to the effects library. Find transform and drag it on the nest. Now in the effect controls, set a scale and rotation keyframe. Move forward in time and adjust the rotation however you like. Then set the scale to zero. Now expand the velocity curves for both the properties and pull the lever of the first keyframe to ease the animation out. Again, increase the shutter angle and look at that. That looks beautiful. Animation number two is made with Submagic, the sponsor of today's video. If you didn't know it, Submagic destroys any other subtitle tool. You just click on generate captions, then upload your video. This can be vertical or horizontal, doesn't matter. It will then automatically detect the spoken language. We actually added a brand new feature called translate captions. If you enable it, you can choose to translate the captions to another language. Let's pick Dutch. That way I can check if this actually works. I can speak Dutch perfectly by the way. He is bewees, perfect Nederlands. Next, click on generate captions. Wait a few seconds and there you go. Let's pick a style, for example Leon. These styles are all animated by the way. You can also customize them, like change the font and you can even upload your own if you'd like. Next, you can adjust the amount of words displayed in one line and you can adjust the position. Luckily, you can also customize the color. Next, let's check if Submagic translated my captions correctly. Spoiler alert! It did. 100% accurate. If it does make a mistake, you can always adjust it in here. Adding B-roll automatically is also super cool. Submagic will detect what you're talking about and add it to your video. Or you can add it manually, if you want that of course. Next, you can export it and automatically generate a caption with hashtags that fits your video. Now, besides captions, you can also create magic clips. This will turn one long video into multiple shorts. It automatically detects potential viral clips, which is super useful. You just put the link to your video here or upload it and then let it do its thing. You can edit all of them as much as you want. You have full customizability. And of course, you can add captions the same way as you learned before. Now, a while ago, I started making shorts again. And now I love it, thanks to Submagic. I'll leave a link for you guys down below so you can check it out for yourself. And don't forget to use the code Premier Basics for 10% off. Now it's time for animation number three. For this one, we're using a tool called After Effects. Why, you might ask? As an editor, it's super important to learn After Effects as well. I drag my panels in a way so that it looks like Premiere. That way, it's easier for you guys to follow along. The only thing you need is a TikTok logo. Again, you can find that on sites like Flat Icon or Freepik. You can just download it and you don't even need an account. Once you have it in the timeline, go to the toolbar and select the Ellipse tool. Hold down Shift to create a circle, then disable the 
stroke because we don't need it. Set the fill color to white by opening up the color selector. Choose white and then click OK. Make sure the circle is positioned behind the TikTok logo by dragging it underneath. Now as you can see, it's not perfectly in the middle, so press the Y key on your keyboard. That will select the anchor point tool. Click and drag it to the middle of the circle. Now press V for the selection tool and now you can snap the circle to the exact center. Perfect. Before we're gonna animate anything, we're gonna create the plus button. To do that, simply create another circle in the program monitor. With this one, make sure the fill is set to red. And this time, make sure the stroke is enabled and set it to white. You can adjust the stroke size by clicking and dragging the size value. When that's done, make sure no layer is selected. Then go to the toolbar and click the pen tool. In the preview panel, click and drag a line. Then go to the toolbar again and make sure the fill is disabled. You can leave the stroke as it is. Then in the timeline, select the line you just created and hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Then with the duplicate selected, press R on your keyboard to open up the rotation property. Set it to 90 degrees. Then in the preview panel, drag the horizontal line on top of the vertical one to make it look like a cross. That's perfect. Of course, don't forget to name your layers to stay organized. You just select them, hit enter and start typing. But for now, let's hide these layers. Next, we'll create a scale animation on the circle. To do that, select the layer and hit S on your keyboard to open up the scale properties. Then add a scale keyframe. Now move back in time and set the scale to zero. Then select the second keyframe and hit F9 on your keyboard. This will ease the keyframe. If you go to the curves tab, you can pull the levers to smoothen out the animation just like in Premiere. But it's like a hundred times better in After Effects. Now we're gonna animate the TikTok logo. Expand the transform properties of the TikTok logo. Then move a little forward in time and set a scale and rotation keyframe. Then move the playhead to the start and rotate the logo to the left. Now set the scale to zero. Select the last keyframes of both the properties and hit F9 to ease them. With these keyframes selected, go to the Curves tab and pull the lever again like you did with the white circle. That already looks beautiful. Next, enable the plus button again. Trim the icon to the moment after the TikTok animation is done. Now move one to two seconds forward in time and select the red circle. Then hit Ctrl plus Shift plus D. This will add a cut to it and then do the same thing for the horizontal and vertical line. Then hit delete to remove them. Next, select the second red circle and go to the toolbar. Change the fill color to green. Then click on OK. Now the red button will change into the green one. Next, grab the pen tool again and this time draw a check mark in the green circle. Grab the selection tool and go to the timeline. Trim away the part that overlaps with the red circle. Also, let's keep it clean and rename our new layers so that we don't get confused. And now, if you wiggle with the playhead, you'll see the circle changing from a red one to a green one. Now, let's animate that. Select the red circle and the plus shapes. Then hit Ctrl plus Shift plus C to pre-compose it. You can call it red button or something. Make sure move all attributes is selected. Then hit OK. You can trim away the right side because you don't need it. Do the same thing for the layers that form the check mark. Call it green button and again click on OK. Trim away the part you don't need and now drag the green button a little bit forward in time to make it overlap with the red one. Make sure the red button is selected and hit Y on your keyboard again. That will select the anchor point tool. Then drag the anchor point to the exact middle of the icon. That's needed for the animation to work. Then of course do the same thing for the green one. Now let's complete the animation. First select the red one and hit S on your keyboard. Move the playhead to after the moment where the first animation ended. Then add a scale keyframe. Now move a few frames back in time and set the scale to zero. Of course don't forget to ease the last keyframe again. Next hit R on your keyboard to show the rotation property. And then do the same thing for the green button. Move a little forward in time and set a rotation keyframe. Then move forward again and increase the rotation. Now on the green clip, add a rotation keyframe as well. And again, move forward in time. Then make it rotate to the right. And now you have a beautiful transition from the red one into the green one. Make sure to ease the first keyframe of the red animation and the last keyframe of the green animation. Now to finish off the effect, create a scale animation like this to make all the icons disappear at the same time. To introduce motion blur, make sure the motion blur button is enabled for all your clips and there you go a beautiful TikTok follow animation now if you want to recreate this cool text animation in Premiere Pro click the video right here on my left to continue the lesson thank you guys so much for watching